Hi, and welcome back to Avocet Math. In this video, we're going to look at a problem from the 2015 AIM. And this particular problem involves several methods and techniques uh, from our discussion of the Pythagorean triples generator. So let's take a look at what we have. There is a prime number p such that 16 times p plus 1 is the cube of a positive integer. Find the number p. So let's translate that into math terms. We have a number n such that its cube is equal to 16 times the prime number plus 1. Now in this case, the problem statement tells us that this equation is in fact true and we're trying to solve for the number p. But there are some problems that you're going to encounter where you're given a statement and you're trying to prove that it's not true, in which case uh, it's often helpful to look at the statement in terms of modular arithmetic, try to examine the equation in terms of remainders upon division by 4 or 8 or 16, for example. But in this uh, problem statement, we know that this equation is true. And for those types of problems, the most promising technique is to somehow factor the equation and then do factor comparison. And in this case, I see an opportunity to factor, so let's go ahead and do that. We can bring the 1 over to the other side. And now we have n cubed minus 1 is equal to 16p. And now we see an opportunity to factor. We have a difference between two cubes here. So let's go ahead and factor that into n minus 1 times n squared plus n plus 1 equals 16p, and let me just write that as a string of 2's times the number p. So at this point we're going to do some standard factor comparison similar to problems that we've encountered in the past, but we have to be a little more clever and insightful about how we're going to examine the factors on the left. And one of the ways of doing that is trying to examine uh, the even and odd parity of the factors that are involved in an expression. And in this case, we can notice that uh, this expression of n squared plus n plus 1 has the curious property that when you put an even number into n, you get an odd number. And when you put an odd number into n, you also get an odd number. So we know that this factor is odd regardless of the value of n. We also know that n minus 1 could be even or odd depending on the value of n. And so the two possible uh, possibilities for parity of the expression on the left is either an odd times an odd or an even times an odd. Those are the only two cases that we can uh, we can see as far as uh, this expression is concerned. And by looking at these two cases we realize that uh, we really can't form an odd times an odd and have that match up in any way with the factors of 2 on the right hand side. So we can pretty much eliminate the odd times an odd. That's not really a possibility. And all we're left with basically is an even times an odd number that has to somehow match up with the factors on the right. And when we look at this uh, factor group on the right, we realize that we can break this up in four different ways. We could either break it up here, in which case we have a 2 to the left, and 2 times 2 times 2 times p to the right. Or we can break it up here, in which case we have 4 to the left and 4 times p to the right. Likewise here, 8 to the left, 2 times p to the right, or we can break it up here. And what we notice is that there's really only one place that we can break this up, such that we get an even times an odd number. So we basically know how this factor group has to match up here. It has to match up in such a way that the 2 times the 2 times the 2 matches up with the n minus 1. And this p here has to match up with the factor of n squared plus n plus 1. And from there, it's pretty easy. We know now that n minus 1 has to actually, in fact, equal 16, in which case we know that n is equal to 17. And then we can plug that value of 17 into the expression on the right and calculate the value of p. So n squared is 17 times 17. That's uh, 119 plus 17, 289 plus uh, 17 plus 1. That's an 18 there. And that's 307. So that's the value of p. P is equal to 307. 